Now I'm going to show you exactly how he took a plumber in Plano, Texas from position 17 to position two in just two weeks. And we did it using just seven tools that cost less than $500 total. No expensive rank trackers, no citation services charging monthly fees, just simple tools that most agencies completely overlook. And the crazy part, one of these tools didn't even exist until late 2022. And it's completely free, but it's become the most important important tool in my entire local SEO stack. Because when ChatGPT launched, it didn't just change content creation, it changed how Google evaluates local authority. That local SEO tools have completely changed. Now, what worked last year, it's already going to be outdated. So if you're still relying on legacy tools like Ahrefs or Yext for your local clients, you're not just wasting money, you're also leaving your clients vulnerable. And worse, you're damaging your own reputation. So in this video, I'm going to break down the seven most important tools that I use for local SEO in 2025 to rank clients fast, even in saturated competitive markets. I'm also going to show you how you can start using them today with the exact AI prompts that my agency uses. Okay, so the first tool on this list, it's probably not gonna surprise you. While everyone else is spending hundreds on fancy rank trackers and citation builders, this free to $20 a month tool is quietly doing the heavy lifting behind the scenes at my agency and other SEO agencies who know what they're doing. And here's the thing, this tool isn't just useful. It's one of the most important tools in my entire local SEO stack. And honestly, most people are still using it wrong. They're asking it to write blog posts about plumbing tips when they should be using it to create locally optimized service pages that actually rank because they feed Google the information Google wants to see. Most local business websites sound like they were written by robots, generic content that could apply to any business in any city. But with the right prompts, this tool is going to be able to create content that sounds like it was written by a local expert, someone who's actually been in that local market providing that service for years. Someone who knows the local neighborhood, the lingo, and what people are really searching for. I used to manage a team of 11 full-time copywriters. Now, I have one employee who produces better content than the whole team did. Let me show you my local authority content prompt in action with ChatGPT. So all these prompts are in my school community. It's not free, so if you don't wanna to pay to join, no problem. Go ahead and freeze the frame and grab the prompt for you. So I'm gonna come on down and grab the content writing prompt here. And if I come over to Claude is my preferred AI tool for writing content. Uh, subjectively, it is much better than ChatGPT at producing website content. So I'll put the prompt in, hit enter. I'm using the Sonnet model here, not the Opus. Now, one of the key things that we're doing with this prompt, with this content, is we're talking about the other secondary services that are on this Google business profile. So you can see we have H2's subheadings for each one of these secondary services on the GBP. And that's it. That's the content writing prompt that we use in my agency. And as you saw, the prompt is able to create a complete locally optimized service page in under a minute. The content that prompt generates is going to include neighborhood names, local landmarks, and even exact language patterns that Google is looking for. I've used that same prompt to rank dozens of local sites fast, including that plumber in Plano. Every piece is AI generated, but it's then refined with human editing. That blend of AI speed with human oversight, that's what makes this system unbeatable for generating local content. This local authority content prompt is one of the dozens of prompts that we use every day in my agency. As you just saw, generating content is easy, but the real question is, what content should you create? Now that's where tool number five comes in. It's going to reshape how you approach your entire content strategy. But before I get to tool five, let's talk about prioritizing local content. And that's exactly where this second tool comes into play. Most rank tracking tools just give you numbers in spreadsheets that prospects don't understand. This tool creates rank maps that show you your client's exact rank position across their entire local service area, where they're first, where they're fifth, and where they're 20 plus. 
not showing up at all. And here's what makes this so powerful. I can show these rank maps to prospects and they instantly understand the problem. But the real power here is we can take that rank map data and feed it directly into our AI assistant, ChatGPT or Claude, and it will help you prioritize the content you should write to help rank more. Now I could show you a rank map where I ask for recommendations for content on a personal injury lawyer website and improve their average rank position for the target keyword, car accident lawyer. So I'm gonna show you the rank analysis prompt in action, which will tell you exactly what neighborhoods or services need supporting content based on where the rank gaps are. So this is what the tool looks like. And I can click right down here to export this data. And once it's exported, I can come on over to Claude and give it that exported rank data. And then I'm going to grab the prompt here in the community. And here I'm going to switch over to the Opus 4 model. That model is a little bit better at analyzing data than the Sonnet model. The Sonnet model is better at writing content. All right, so it's finished the analysis and what it's going to give me is the priority neighborhoods where I should be writing content and what the target keywords should be for those areas. It's also given me why it ranked those priority scores where it did. Here's what blew my mind almost every time I run this prompt. The AI will now recognize hyper-local neighborhood names that aren't even listed on Google Maps. I've seen it firsthand all the time when I run it on my own clients. It's going to suggest content around areas that I personally recognized as a local, but that didn't show up on the Google Map. And that level of geographic detail is incredibly powerful for building EEAT with Google's algorithm because it signals that your site was written by someone who actually knows the area, even if it's really AI that knew the area. The tool that generates these rank maps is Local Dominator. You'll find the link down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. But even if we have perfectly targeted local content, most people are still going to miss one crucial step. And even though the AI tools like ChatGPT and Claude are built to understand human language, Google's ranking system doesn't exactly work like that. Now, I used to make this mistake all the time. I thought Google was reading content like a person, but it's obviously not. Google is math, it's an algorithm. It's looking for patterns, entities, signals. So let me tell you exactly what I mean by this. This next tool is focused on reverse engineering the content that Google is looking for. It doesn't help you write better content. Instead, it shows you exactly what words the top ranking pages use so that you can add those same words to your content. The tool shows you exactly what entities and language patterns the pages that are already ranking really well use. The goal is for you to mimic their structure, but do it a little bit better. And here's how this transforms good content written for people into algorithm readable content. We can take the content that Claude or ChatGPT wrote for the plumber water heater replacement page, run it through this tool, and it's going to tell me exactly what entities and phrases the top ranking pages are using. Things like hot water tank, gas water heater, electric water heater, the specific language patterns Google has already identified as most helpful to its users, the searchers. And honestly, at my agency, we use this tool almost every single day. Every GBP landing page you create and most of the GBP secondary category pages. Every one of these is going to get this treatment so that the AI tools and Google can actually understand what Google's algorithm is looking for, not just what sounds good to humans. So if you skip this step, you're basically playing SEO roulette. The tool is called Page Optimizer Pro. Now I've added a link in the description if you wanna go ahead and check that out, but let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the tool tells us. We have the current word count versus our target. So we know we need to write more content and it actually gives specific important terms, how many times we've used them and how many times we should use them. On top of that, it will give an overview of the page structure, how many bold, italic, images, lists, forms. We can also grab the LSI keywords and the variations here. So this is a massively important tool to adjust this content to make sure Google's algorithm knows what it's about. Now, 
If you've ever had a client who is upset because they didn't get any jobs from SEO, but you ranked them high in the top three and generated a huge number of calls for them, wait until tool seven. And I'll show you how that fixes that exact issue. But one of the things that we do for a brand new client is going to almost always use this fourth tool. It's a technical audit and yes, it sounds boring, but it's important to do, and this tool makes it easy. Now, technical audits used to take hours of manual work, scanning through spreadsheets, looking for problems, but this combination completely automates that process. Run this on a client website, export the data, and feed it directly into Claude or ChatGPT with my technical analysis prompt. So here's what happens when you do that. Your AI assistant is going to analyze the entire crawl and instantly identify any pages that have thin content, duplicate content, messy internal link structure, too many redirects, 404 errors, and missing meta descriptions. Everything that's basically holding back the rankings from a technical standpoint. At my agency, we used to spend hours of manual analysis to do this audit. We can now just do it in a few minutes. But here's the best part. While it's identifying all these issues, we can also just ask the AI assistant to actually write the fixes. Used to spend so much time filling in missing meta descriptions. Now we can have them all written automatically. Thin content pages, broken internal links. It'll tell you exactly how and where to map out the fix. Now you can get this tool in the link in the description. It's called Screaming Frog. And I do love the name of it. It just puts this very special image in my head. Let me show you that technical analysis prompt in action. So here's what Screaming Frog looks like. You put the homepage in here, you hit start, and it's going to crawl the entire site. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is export this file called internal all. So luckily we're on internal and I can hit export and it's going to export internal all. I've already done it, so it's going to overwrite the file, no problem. Then we're going to give Claude, or you can use ChatGPT, uh, that internal all file along with this prompt, which you'll be able to find in the Screaming Frog analysis. You can grab that prompt there. And what it will output is this exact technical analysis report, starting with an executive summary, some critical issues, it gives an overall site health score, and then it goes through the detailed findings. This used to be hours of work, now it only takes a few minutes. Do you remember when I said that a lot of tools just stop being important? Well, the next one I'm gonna show you is a free tool that became incredibly powerful when it's combined with two other tools and it can gather data that will feed into AI for yet another analysis. Now this free tool is going to pull the category and service data from any Google business profile in seconds, but Here's where this gets really powerful. We take that data, we combine it with the technical crawl data from Screaming Frog, the previous tool, and then we'll feed both of them into our AI assistant, Claude or ChatGPT. Now, this is the true content gap analysis that identifies the core 40 pages. That's one page for every GBP category and every GBP service, plus the homepage, about page, and contact page. Now watch what happens when I use my content gap analysis prompt on this combined data. So I'm back over at Screaming Frog. I already grabbed the internal. Then I'm going to click over to links right here and I'm going to export that file. It's also going to overwrite it, no problem. I've already done it. And then I'm going to come on over to my school community and grab the local website SEO analysis prompt. So again, I'll grab this prompt, come over to Claude, feed it the prompt, and then feed it my two Screaming Frog files. We have the links all file and internal all. And again, I'm using the Opus model here and we'll go ahead and run the analysis. Essentially what this prompt is doing is it's asking Claude to evaluate this website. I want to see that the website has one URL for every GVP category and one URL for every GVP service. On top of that, I want to see that the categories and services are internally linked exactly as they should be for correct local site structure. And we can see that Claude's analysis is going step by step looking for what I wanted to look for. Now it's important to note that yes, Claude and ChatGPT are both capable of crawling the internet. So why do I need to grab the Screaming Frog files? Well, in my experience, the accuracy is miserable without the Screaming Frog files. If you don't give it the links file and the internal file, then it seems like the two tools basically guess as to what pages are there and what pages are missing. So we definitely need to also feed these 
these AI assistants the screaming frog data, not just relying on them to crawl the internet and get it on their own. All right, and here's the analysis being generated. We can see that we're going to start by identifying any of the critical gaps. Here we have some secondary categories that aren't on the website. And then it's telling me the service pages, the ones that it found. Uh, it also has, gives me some information on the linking and a summary of all the gaps. When I initially ran this on that Plano plumber I talked about at the beginning that we ranked in two weeks, this analysis showed that they're missing 23 of the course 30 service pages. And we built the gaps. And and that's how they jumped from rank 17 to 2.35 in just two weeks. Now, the free tool behind this, GMB Everywhere. That allows you to grab the categories and the services. And combining that with the Screaming Frog and feeding all of that data into ChatGPT or Claude, you get one of the most powerful content gap systems out there. Now, both of these tools, GMB Everywhere and Screaming Frog, are going to be linked to in the description if you want to try this setup for your own clients. Great news is that both of them are largely free for this use case. So you've probably heard that citations don't matter anymore, or maybe you've heard that citations are critical for local SEO. In either case, you've unfortunately been misled. They're not the ranking rocket fuel that they used to be back in 2018, but they are still a foundational trust signal for Google. You can sort of think of citations like a checklist item. Google expects to see them, and if you don't have them, it can hold you back from ranking. So the good news with that is that they're largely easy repeatable and inexpensive to outsource. We don't need to use any expensive monthly subscription tools to get citations. And I have tried a lot of tools for citations and honestly, they just don't have a significant impact on rankings when compared to a one-time cost to source citations. I haven't really seen any benefit from the services with monthly charges. So this tool is my own fulfillment shop. It's icecreamtruck.shop. On there, you can get 120 citations for $260 take zero time from your team and you're done and you can move on with your life. Now, the most common reason that we do citations is to establish an online presence before we try to claim a Google business profile. Having those citations is massively helpful with verification and making the business look legitimate to Google from the first day. But once your client starts showing up, starts ranking highly in search, what happens next? Most SEO agencies stop at getting the traffic, getting the calls, but traffic means nothing if your client can't handle the leads. So the final tool is how we make sure that we never let our clients miss a lead and we don't have to build a call center. Most agencies are focused on getting traffic, but like I said, they ignore what happens when that traffic converts. So instead of relying on your clients to hire staff to manage that initial contact, you can set up AI integrations that will handle it for them. When customers fill out forms or call your client's business, the AI is going to be able to qualify them, book appointments, and only pass serious qualified prospects onto your clients. And it can do this 24 seven. The AI chat widget is going to be able to answer common questions about services, explains processes, handle objections, even handling booking without a phone call. And the AI voice agent is going to be able to answer the phone when your client is too busy or it's off business hours. And that voice agent will be able to, again, answer questions, give pricing and book qualified appointments directly into your client's calendar. And here's something that most people don't realize. Missed calls is actually a ranking factor. Google built Android so that they could feed even more data into its search algorithm. Google wants its users to have a good experience experience and that means answering the phone if you are a local business. So the AI voice agent makes sure that your clients never miss a phone call, which not only helps make sure that they get the leads, it also protects their rankings. Your client is going to be able to keep their pipeline full, but stay focused on doing the actual work. This tool is the most expensive one I've talked about here. It's called High Level. You can get a tool with the link in the description. It does roughly 100,000 things in addition to the AI chat and the AI voice agents. So now that you have the right local SEO tools, here's just going to separate agencies that charge $500 from those landing $5,000 a month clients. Knowing how to use these tools strategically to show meaningful rank improvements. Because 
without the right approach, you're just burning money on subscriptions that aren't moving the needle. The foundation of everything I just showed you comes down to one free technique that most agencies completely miss. I recently used this method to help a client 10x their traffic, and it didn't require a single paid tool or backlink campaign. So watch this next video where I break down this exact free SEO technique that took this client from invisible to dominating their local market and use that technique to land higher paying clients starting today.